Welcome. This is my journey up through central Victoria into Sydney and down the south coast. This is Wangaratta Cathedral. It's a neo-Gothic building and I've spent many a happy time here when I was much younger. Next to it is a bell tower which was added more recently. One of my favourite times is actually sitting in a free camp place. This is at Chilton. No one else around, and I'm see, sitting outside enjoying a cup of tea. It's a beautiful, quiet place just to be able to sit and relax. My favourite time of day is sunrise, and here you can see this little ball of light just peeking through the trees here at Chilton. Again, no one around, and so it's a beautiful time of day just to be able to watch the animals as they change from night shift to day shift. Further up into New South Wales is a small place called Ardalethan, and I discovered this place by chance one day as I was coming into shelter from an oncoming storm, and I've been back a few times, and here you can see my motorhome just parked up, and it's a special area for vans and caravans. Sunset is my most favourite time of day as well, and here you can see a beautiful golden sky as the sun has gone down, and the trees silhouetted against this beautiful golden sky. Again, this is at Ardalethan. This is a place called Tamora at the showgrounds, and when the showgrounds are not in use, they open it up for motorhomes and caravans. And here is sunrise. Again, the sky just starting to glow, and that golden, beautiful circle as it slowly lifts up into the sky. As I came into Sydney, I found myself behind a number plate with my initials on it. But it's not my age, just my initials, K-L-A. My friend Chris lives in Gaimia in outer Sydney on the edge of the state forest and this is his home and you can see his home in the background. This is Chris waving to us. Hi Chris! And he's developing the garden. It's starting to come on very well. It flows down into a creek. And here is where Chris was standing just looking down into the creek below. It's a beautiful garden and he's doing a lot of work on it. It's a great pleasure to be out there, and he's very lucky to be able to live in such a beautiful area. I was fortunate enough to visit a friend who lives on the outer part of Sydney called Trevor, and he lives in a beautiful house, which we'll see more of, in Oakhurst. It was built in 1884 by a man called William Golding. This is just the bathroom in his place. Here's the outside of the house. He actually leases the gardens out for weddings and other parties and so on. But as I said, it's a house from 1884 and it's very beautiful. Another very special thing about this house, Trevor is a musician and so he has a pipe organ in the house. I don't know of many houses that have a pipe organ in them, but Trevor has one. He also has four pianos but he often opens the house up for musicians, for concerts, and people just to come and play the organ. Very generous. Trevor also has chickens, and the front door was left open one morning, and one of the chickens, which isn't afraid of people, decided it wanted to come in and have a look around. It was politely told it lived outside, and this wasn't where it belonged, so the chicken had to go outside again. St Mary's Cathedral in Sydney is the largest church in Australia. Again, it's a Gothic design and is one of the most beautiful churches in Australia. It's on the same scale as most European cathedrals and really is eye-catching. Sydney Art Gallery has a number of very beautiful pieces of art. It's always good to go to an art gallery and just spend a few hours and having a look at select works. I was able to do this one afternoon while I was in Sydney. 
I was staying with my friend Will in Stanmore, which is next to Petersham, and so in my walks I would often go up through Petersham looking for some food, and here I found a very interesting sign. Petersham RSL, Fisher Street, and Racism Not Welcome. Very interesting. My friend David is Director of Music at St Paul's College in the Sydney University. He's been there since 1992. And this is where he lives, what he's called his Grace and Favour House, part of Sydney University. Coming south from Sydney, I stayed in Badella State Forest, and it has a number of lakes around. And so I was able to go for a walk around here. This is a free camp area as well, off-grid. And it's beautiful just to wake up in the forest in the morning and then be able to go for a walk. As I said, sunrise is one of my favourite parts of the day. And again, here's the golden ball of the sun, just filtered through the trees, peeking through the beginning of a new day. You can see here a beautiful reflection in one of the lakes, catch, capturing the blue sky above and in fact, if it weren't for the dead trees in the lake, it would be very hard to see which way is right way up. I stopped further down the road at a place called Delmeni. Beautiful beach, so I went and got a cup of coffee and just sat on the beach and watched the waves coming in. Absolutely lovely. And while I was sitting there, I was joined by a beautifully coloured parrot. Obviously very used to people and wanting something to eat. I make a policy, I don't feed the local birds, I don't feed any wildlife at all. But it's always nice when they come up close and feel relaxed. Further down the coast is a place called Tilba. And here we are looking out over Tilba, below, over the paddocks into the forest and then into the mountains in the distance. It was a nice place to stop and have lunch. And as I stopped further down the road for a cup of tea in the afternoon, I was joined by two magpies. Again, obviously quite used to people and quite cheeky, and they wanted food, but I didn't give them any, so they gave me the evil eye. My next overnight stop was in Can River, and this is a free camp area. I parked right down the back, but again, this is sunrise, and I'm usually up early and go for a walk, and you can just see the sky starting to have a golden glow as the sun peaks over the top. My next stop was Nauanaua. I've been here a few times. The Nauanaua caravan park is quite quirky and a bit of fun. The manager has come to know me. He has chickens which he lets out in the afternoon and he said it's all right if I give them some cheese. So I gave them some cheese and the next morning the manager came and gave me some of the eggs from the chickens. I felt very lucky. So here I've got eight eggs and I was able to make some delicious scrambled egg and some fried eggs while I was staying there. The time of year I've been traveling is autumn and so, of course, there are beautiful trees with magnificent colours. And here you can see a lovely tree just outside the caravan park with amazing colour changes, starting at the top with that beautiful rusty red colour and then changing to orange as it goes down further. This is the river at now and now, and you can see over millions of years it has carved its way through the rock, and this is part of the gorge of the river. Great fish here too. I've never been fishing, but there always seem to be hundreds of fish in the clear water. Maybe they need catching. At now and now on my last night, there was a beautiful full moon come up. And you can see here, this is moonrise. And I put this in because I was also lucky on my next night to see the moon as well. 
So two nights of a beautiful moon. This is at now an hour, and this is at Hayfield. You can see here, again, a beautiful moon coming up in the sky. It almost looks like a sunset, but I promise you it's not. It's the moon lighting up the sky. And again, this is above the football ground at Hayfield, which is open for motorhomes and caravans. My next instalment will be from Tasmania.